Hello again, and welcome back to Operations Management, and we're still continuing with inventory. This time we're going to be talking about how we can calculate an appropriate service level for an organization. In previous sessions, we've talked about the service level as being the probability that we won't run out. So it's actually one minus the probability that we will run out. But what should that service level be? Well, we do know that a service level should be a balance between having enough safety inventory and too much, because we do know that excess inventory incurs extra holding and capital costs, but not enough inventory, and we can stop reduction due to material shortages, customers can't have orders filled, and so forth. So what we need to do is find an appropriate balance between the two. So what should be that correct service level? We do a marginal analysis. We're going to compare the expected costs and benefits of purchasing each incremental unit of inventory. So every additional unit of inventory, we're going to see the costs and benefits of that. To do that, we need to understand the marginal benefit, abbreviated MB, says the price. This is what we can sell the unit for versus how much it cost us. So the price minus the cost is our marginal benefit. The marginal cost is how much it cost us to acquire the item in the first place. But we subtract out the salvage value. At the end of the season, this is what we can get for this unit. It's not the original price, but it's something left over. So when we go to calculate our service level, we're taking our marginal benefit and dividing it by the combinational of marginal benefit and marginal cost. And that will give us the probability that our demand during the time we've placed the order to the time we've received it is less than or equal to our reorder point, just like we've always said about the service level. So if we take a look at an example, we have Sydney with a seasonal business of buying and selling imported figurines. Sydney buys figurines at a cost of $25 each and then the figurine can be sold at a price of $50. At the end of the season, Sydney has to get rid of the unsold stock by selling it to a wholesaler for $15 each. We're going to use this information to figure out the appropriate service level. So we're told that we can sell a figurine for $50. There's the price. It costs us $25 to acquire it, and at the end of the season, the best we can get for each figurine is $15. That's our salvage value. So our marginal benefit is our price minus the cost, which is $25. And our marginal cost is our cost less the salvage value, which turns out to be $10. So our service level is just 25 divided by the 25 plus 10. So it's 25 divided by 35 is 0.7143. So we're not looking at a 90% service level. We're actually looking at about a 71.43% service level. It's a little bit different. Every organization will have to figure out what the appropriate service level is for them. In our next session, we're going to start with a full-blown problem on inventory analysis. We're going to take it straight through from economic order quantity all the way to the reorder point and safety stock. I'll see you then.